name himself. <laughs> no, Ron's got two first names. Ron does have two first names. So we're going to start up this loser semis matchup. MRW versus Jamajaro. Small battlefield. The sun. I'm grooving. All right, so starting up, 62%. Can you use these? You wanted to fare him so bad. <laughs> you wanted to fare him so bad. Why? Oh, yeah, if he gets that back throw again. Oh, yeah. If he gets that back throw at ledge again, you know the fare is coming, bro. Oh, yeah. He just rolled Ooh. into the other grenade. So this is one of those matchups where it's going to be... I don't know, man. I, this is this is gonna be difficult for MRW for sure because Jamajaro don't really play with the yeah. Jamajaro don't really play. <laughs> A smooth combo, planting the C4, throwing it back, blowing off the C4, taking the stock. So Jamajaro very smoothly taking the first. Move. Yeah, you definitely. Okay, so that's not how you want to do that. No. Like, oh, for the viewers watching at home, you want to stay on the stage because if you touch the outside edges of the fighting arena, you'll actually die. It's called a blast zone. You want to yeah. avoid the blast zone, especially yeah. the bottom one. Exactly, exactly, yeah. Ron just putting so much pressure on MRW there that he had no choice. He had no it. choice. He had to die. He, had, he was just like, I gotta see you later. I have a place to be. Uh, <laughs> MRW, so, he's not really doing an amazing job of avoiding the nades, too. Like He's not, and I understand why he's not, and it's because he probably wants to do a lot of, you can see he's picking it up, he's trying to probably go for a... Um, Revenge, because that's what he was doing all last time. Oh, he's dead. Okay. No, he's last time they played, he wow, went for revenge he, a lot. He kind of went like right through him with that. Yeah. But yeah, this is this is actually this is really difficult for him, bro. Yeah. And you could tell that's he was he was all out of sorts. Once that SD hit, once that SD hit, you you really sort of saw it unravel for him there. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. the thing about the thing about this matchup, and the thing about just the way that first game went. <laughs> Jamajaro is is he's gonna put on that percent with the explosives. You're gonna be exploding a lot. Yeah. And the problem is the problem is if you can't touch him, what are you gonna do? Like like die. It's not even that he's camping. Yeah, because he's, he's really not. It's not even that he's camping. He's, he's just just throw some nades, you know? Yeah. You know? And he's Maybe been using he's, he's pressing the B button. Yeah. You know, he said throw some B's on that bitch. <laughs> That's it. You know what? He's been using those grenades and stuff too to go in and get grabs. Yeah. Uh, maybe even a dash attack or two. Um, and that's what I was thinking MRW might be doing from picking up the grenade. Maybe like trying to condition Jam and Haro to run to shield, and he can run up and get that side beam. Yeah. Like he can do that. He can do that move without even having to throw the grenade. Mm -hmm. But Jam and Haro not really faltering when he sees MRW approach. He's he's content to give him a little bit of space. Oh, oh wait a minute. Smooth. He gets another grab. Reads the get up. He's actually gets an F going tilt. Nuts. He is shredding right now. Gets the grenade. Gonna go ahead and revenge that. He's been looking for that pretty much this whole game, I think. And the grab's gonna stop the revenge immediately. Wow. The jab ones are coming out, bro. Yeah, the this jab one. ones. He's just getting hit. He's, He's on getting fire. hit by so much. Dude, he, getting, planted he, he planted that earlier. He planted that earlier. He planted that, that earlier. earlier. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. <laughs> they call the colonel. He's going absolutely nuts right now. Dash tech comes through, setting up a grenade. Bro, you need to go. Nah, Ron need to go to jail for this. <laughs> <laughs> this is some sort of felony. Ron he plants need to go another to jail one. For this. My God. So MRW, he does have 76% on Jamajaro, but he's having a really hard time trying to find a way in right now. That 76% means nothing, bro. No. That's like, nah. That's 76%. What does that mean? <laughs> I don't know. He's just. And there's grenades everywhere. Like MRW, from the way their first set went in winners, this is the this is the very opposite. He, he gets him. hit by the he Nikita. He looped the Nikita back around. The old loop the loop and pull, man. The up air comes through this time. Just a quick, just a quick roundabout, you know. No big deal. Yeah, he wants to, bro. If he sees you go low, if he sees you go low after that back throw, you're gonna get you're big dead. time fair. Yeah. Yeah. My lord. Up we go. Trying to go for a down air, but the up air this time from MRW, you finally getting some offense going. Misses the grab, looking for a down air. And he will get it. Breaks the cipher. Taking the first stock. So we have a chance to breathe. Yeah, ruining the cipher. Watch the grenades coming out. Yeah, he's gonna revenge one. I mean he had to. He might he might be trying to revenge a second, but he's just gonna get blown up by a of at least seven projectiles there. It just rains grenades, man. The only the only thing is, yeah, 
Here's where things get a little bit scary for Jamajaro. Because when he goes high, if MRW is able to read that, you don't have to respect Snake all that much when he goes high. No. But you have to you have to be able to put yourself in that position to punish that. Like you're you're gonna have to he's dead. Go, he's dead. You have he's to dead. put yourself in a position where you are rewarded and oh, you are yeah. able to. Right now, right now, Jamajaro has so much control over this game. There is an explosion going off, it seems like every frame. I don't know what you do. Bra like, literally, he's put him in a bullet hell. Yeah, right I mean, now. he's got to dance between all the things. Literally, he's just littering the ground with grenades. The, grenades, the thing about it C4, is everything. MRW, and it's it's not it's not really like MRW is playing that poorly. No, it, it, right now he really just doesn't have an answer. He doesn't have an answer to the nades. He doesn't have an answer to the just any of Jamajaro's defense. And that's the issue. He's playing a bullet hell and he's running out of quarters, dude. Yeah, it's really like, what it is. Like this is this is now He's way down. Like Alright, here we go. Starting up game three. MRW trying to avoid the sweep of which yeah. he gave Jamajaro in winners, may I add. In winners, this game this went 2 0 MRW. But Jamajaro is looking like a different man right now. Starting up, throwing up all these grenades, gets a C4 while he's at it. Gonna throw off more C4. You can tell he's really playing that keep away game now. Yeah. He's got all the space, dude. Like, he's in he's in Northern Cave. He's just hiding up north. You know what I mean? That's what I'm saying, yeah. Like, what does he have to what does he have to approach you for? He's making MRW earn every single one of these little grabs and interactions. That's the issue. When you're playing against somebody who thrives off of your mistakes, if you don't give them anything, it, it becomes so much more difficult. Oh, yeah. It's, it's a big test of their mental. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And right now, MRW really hasn't been doing anything. Like, he's he's trying to pry on something, but he's grasping at straw. Grenade. He revenges the grenade, so... But he gets grabbed immediately. Back throw. Okay. Trying to drop the Nikita on him on the get-up, but a down air. Gonna take the first stock on the get-up. Man, dude. Oh, he caught There him. we go. Finally caught him with one, and I think that's why he might have gone to this stage. It's, it's for that. Because when, when Jamajaro just... When Jamajaro wants to go and escape to the corner, which he's wanted to do for the first two games to reset, it really hasn't, you know, hasn't been an issue. But now those platforms there, that could be something. But MRW is still really not looking like... Not looking like he has a handle on this. No. Not, not really. I mean, that's some big damage right there, but that's going to be another stop. Okay. Okay. All right. You know what? I'm wrong. You know what? I mean, he, I think he understands. He just needs to get the hits where he knows he needs to get Alolan Whips. That's really what it comes down to. Like, he knows he can get some quick ones with Alolan Whips. The Nikita the Nikita's has actually become much less of a factor this game. Wow! <laughs> okay, okay. Did he bait out? Did he bait out the revenge? And did he? He had to have. That was disgusting. Okay, buddy. Never mind. <laughs> and there we go. He's gonna get the. Uh, wow! That's he's had eighty percent yeah, already. 80. He is at eighty, and now he's gonna revenge it again. And guess what? All he needs is one more. Yeah. Just a hit of any kind. Grab, back throw. Okay. That's a so lot of damage, man. One hundred thirty-six. The crazy thing about that is, oh yeah, he's gonna revenge the cipher. He's, he's gonna, gonna do it again. He's gonna get two of them. Guess what? Ron's gotta be careful live. here. Up throw. throw. Yeah, you're dead. Wow, MRW really just yanking that one out from under the covers. Yeah, he didn't give him much of a chance after he got those Alolan whips. He got a little bit comfortable. Yeah, that's really what it was. It, the stage became so much smaller for him towards the end there. Mm -hmm. and you could tell Jamajaro didn't have. He didn't have that big wall of explosions, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. He got he got out of the asteroid belt, and now he's just chilling. It helped that also that I feel like MRW got a ton of the revenges he was looking for and was able to capitalize with them. I mean, even even if he did revenge into Darkest Lariat, that's still 50%. What is it? Yeah, Something like he, that. It's he, disgusting. He hit him with like one spin center roar and homeboy was at 80. Yeah. Like we're back on this stage. I, I, okay. I guess. I mean, I don't know about that. But I don't know nothing about anything, so like, I I'm would. Just, I'm just gonna watch. All right. We'll see how it works out for him. Right now, immediately starting off with a little whip. Trying to get some damage going. That's gonna get punished. Yeah. 
Ooh, yeah, okay. trying to catch the uh, tech in place, it looks like. You look at all the nares right there. Yeah, he runs into his own grenade. He needed to get out of there. I mean, yeah, it's a way out. See how bears come through this time. That's what I mean by not having to respect Snake when he goes high. And Incineroar has a really good up air. I think it's good enough. It does what it needs to do, right? It, yeah. I think he tried to revenge that. I think he might have. It to. looked like he went for a down tilt, though. Okay. Rolling back. Jamajaro getting the grab this time. Yeah, trying to read something, Ooh. but he can get a little Yeah. And, and you know what's funny? It's a spacing issue at that point. Because, he's dead. yeah, he's dead. Jamajaro was actually doing very well to be just outside the range of the Alolan Whip. And MRW, whether whether these are mistakes by Jamajaro or MRW is just sort of adapting to that spacing, like, that's that's an option that's on the table now. He really wasn't getting hit by much side B when he was those first two games. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I know what you're saying. Like, he's, he's definitely been, like, Ooh, adapting he grabbed to him it. Out of the it. grab, yeah. That's one way to do it, but it's a lot more risky. It gets the up tilt on the get up, and that's going to be it off the top. I feel like that's going to be something he's not going to do a ton. Yeah. I feel like that's like a once in a few moments, once in a blue moon, he's going to get that grab. That's a lot of damage. Yeah, he's going to be all over your shield. There's a grenade hole. Trying to use Rikita. Wow. Jab, grab. Jab, grab, yeah. Yeah, and he's not getting these Nikitas anymore. MRW is is doing a really good job of recovering now. And that's that's one of the main ways that Snake is going to get kills in this matchup easily. You know oh. what I mean? Yeah, exactly. That's oh, wow, he caught him from all that's the way the out there, and you're dead. Yeah. I mean, like, he just keeps getting caught in the corner. If you get caught on that he's dead. Can you revenge he's that? Dead. Okay. He's not dead. I'm surprised he didn't go for the revenge. He's in trouble. What's gonna happen, man? He just he spot dodged it. Got a grab of his own. MRW has him off stage. Up there. Dead. If not now, maybe the next one. Kamajo is having a really rough time on this stage right now as the dash attack comes through. Try to catch him with the Nikita. Not gonna be able to do it right there. It's like you said, he's not really confident with his Nikitas right now as the back air comes through. Still it's, living. It's not even like a confidence thing. He's just simply unable to. Okay. Okay. I mean, he already had him, so he might as well go might for it. Might as well. You yeah. might as well. MRW pumping the fuck off. Wait a minute. Yeah. Now, wait a minute. We're, that, we're at game five. Let we me, are at a game five. Let me tell you something. Homeboy Homeboy switched up, and you can tell You can tell the Jam and Jaro fans in the chat are looking a little silent Yeah, right they're now looking a little scared. Because they saw what just happened those last two games. They definitely saw what just happened those last two games. And mm -hmm. you know what's crazy? Mm -hmm. He could do it again. Jam and Jaro is in need of some big adaptation here. I mean, he is. I mean, he had such a good start on the first two games. He looked super confident. He was getting the Nikitas. He was doing everything he possibly could to keep hit this cat off the stage. Every edge guard, like, he, like, like MRW, said, MRW was able to recover so much, so much better. He was littering the stage with explosives, but he just hasn't been able to do it. Okay, getting the down tilt here to start up this game five in the uh, Darkest Lariat. Starting it up again. Gets the read with the tilts. So this is looking like the MR, the uh, Jamajaro of uh, earlier games. Oh no, the Lariat. Yeah, you, you don't have to respect Snake when he goes high. I'm telling that to everybody. Bro. Oh, that's going to be a lot of damage. Down throw gets the up air. Yeah, this, is, this is low key, like really scary for Jamajaro. He's completely lost control. This MRW just snatched it away from him. You know, MRW is punishing his landings really well too. I'm going to point that out pretty quick. Gets the grab. Oh, the spot dodge! He had the read. He definitely did. He followed him, but... Oh, and he's going to get revenge off of that. That's... that's yeah, dangerous. that's, that's, that's going to be a kill. Yeah, yeah back man. throw. Wow. Jamajaro having a rough time on this game. Five off the start. Sends, sends the Nikita really nowhere, but maybe trying to catch him. MRW putting a little bit of mustard on the, pretty much everything now. Yeah, the high recovery, he can just up B right through the Nikita. Yeah. So he's got to go high pretty much every every time. It, is, it almost, I don't know, man. I'm not the snake man here. It almost seems like I would much rather just set up something for when he comes back on stage at this point. Because if he's going to be able to recover high like that, he's not going to get Nikita. Yeah. 
catches him at the ledge, like, though, this time caught him going low. It's but only when he gets knocked that far out. Like, it, it used to be pretty much every time he went off stage, he was getting hit by Nikita. Yeah, but not anymore. Like, you can definitely tell. And that was landing to be punished real hard. I want to point that out as well. That's been kind of like... Yeah, homeboy can't land. No. There he is again. Once he gets back on the stage, he's just getting a lowland whip. That's Ooh, a little aggressive, a don't minute. you think? And that's a little aggressive from Jamajaro. Oh, no, this is bad. This is bad. Yeah. For Jamajaro, the up throw with Not the revenge. Not enough, but he's still up there. Snake, what is Snake really going to land with sometimes, bro? Like, you can't, if he's up there, don't respect him. If you can go up there and get his ass, go out and get his ass. Like Look that. at that. Jump go out and get, get his ass. So, Jamajaro on his last stock of this game, possibly. Could be, his, could be the last stock of this tournament. Yeah. Bro. He could be done here. The forward throw comes through. You're going to see the Nikita come out again. Not going to work out once again. Sticks the... Ooh, sticks oh, the gets the back air. Got the back air, too. Oh, the up smash doesn't Not knock him do out it. of it. He almost hopped away from it with the landing on that. There. The way there. All the there. Yeah, you got to punish that. He doesn't get the punish. Doesn't get another up tilt. That's two missed up tilts. That could have been two stocks. I'm just kind of avoiding. That's a back throw. That's a huge oh, bro. damage. Bro, this is this is MRW can win this right here. The ledge. Had to go to ledge, but the jump from ledge. You don't call it the tournament winner because it wins you tournaments. <laughs> oh, dead. that's it. That's yeah, it. He's dead. Wow. What a comeback from MRW to bring it to a 3-2 victory over Jamajaro. I told you, bro. Listen. He has. Shimer in shambles. <laughs> He's got momentum, man. Yeah, because he figured it out. He he really figured it 